This video is to show you how to manage your inventory inside Giant. Before you proceed into this video, you will need to perform bulk inventory linking to link all the products from Seller Center to the inventory items inside Giant. Besides that, go into Settings, Sales Channel, and click on the gearbox icon and ensure that the Update Stock button is enabled for all sales channel so that the following guidelines of inventory update would reflect on the linked sales channel. To update your inventory levels, go into Inventory, click into Inventory Adjustment. There are three functions that allows you to update inventory. Use Stock In when you restock your items from the supplier. You can also use it together with Purchase Order. Use stock out for usage like transferring out the stock, declare as wastage or return to supplier as long as you are deducting the stock from Site Giant. Stock adjustment combines both add and deduct stock functions. You can use it during physical stock take regularly. The way to update inventory is the same for these three functions. The only difference is under what circumstances they are used. Let me show you how to use stock adjustment which can do both add and deduct stock at the same time. Go into stock adjustment, click on add stock adjustment, select the warehouse and the reason for the stock adjustment, add in notes if you want to, then click on add item. Look for the items that you want to update, select them and click on continue. You will then see the selected items listed out. And now you may have this question in mind, what is sellable and what is on hand? What are the differences? On hand stock refers to the current quantity that you have in your warehouse, including the stock reserved for orders that you have received and yet to be shipped out to your customers. Sellable stock refers to the final quantity that you are able to sell on all your sales channel after deducting the reserved stock. Hence, it is normal to find out that the sellable stock and the stock on hand are not always having the same quantity. There are two ways for you to update. The first way is to click on the edit icon at the after column, enter the final amount. The quantity change column will then be auto populated or you can select the plus or minus sign and enter the quantity change. The after column will show your latest stock. Once everything is confirmed, you can click on create and the latest stock level will be updated in the system and synced to all related sales channel. Apart from that, you can also do stock adjustment via Excel. Go into Inventory, All Inventory Items and click on Batch Edit. Select Info Type Inventory, select your warehouse and then select your preferred filter and click on Generate. Once the file is ready, download and open the file. Edit only the quantity change or the new stock on hand column. Do not enter both columns for each row. For quantity change, enter the stock level that you want to change. For deduction, please enter with a negative symbol. As for the on hand stock, it would be the same to update the on hand stock in the after column for the item. Once done, save the file. Go back into batch edit, click on upload, import the file into Site Giant. Click on next and if there's no error, click on proceed. Sign Giant will then sync the latest stock update to all linked sales channel. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce to you two useful functions that we have regarding inventory. The first one is reserve stock. This is for you to set a certain amount of stock not to be sold for backup purposes. If overselling happens, the reserve stock can be used to fulfill those orders. Firstly, go into an inventory item. Scroll and look for Warehouse Info and you will see the Reserve Stock column. Enter the quantity that you want to reserve, then click on Save. The Reserve quantity will then reflect in the Stock Details section and the system will then deduct the Reserve Stock from the Stock on hand and sync the latest sellable stock to all the related marketplaces. The next function is Stock Status where you can control the Stock Sync status to all related sales channel. If you change the Stock Status to Out of Stock, the system will then sync zero quantity for the product to all the linked marketplaces, regardless if you have actual sellable stock there. Thus, if you have an item that you do not want to sell, you can temporarily set the item to out of stock. When you change it back to available, the system will then sync the current sellable stock to all your sales channels to resume selling. From all inventory items, go to the number of listings, Click into it and then you can monitor the stock level among all linked sales channels over here. 
in case you found the stock among the link channels are not the same as the stock level in Site Giant, click on Tally All Channels Inventory. Site Giant will then sync the latest sellable stock to all of the linked sales channel. So this is how you manage and synchronize your inventory among all the sales channel in Site Giant. Hope it helps and thank you for watching the video.